Hello, Bye Guy Flies RC, boy, we're right here at Avon Park Aero Modelers Club. We'll take up the Hobby King Durafly Tundra V2. All right, right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. Got the easy lights on. I, I got off Amazon. I'll put a link to their purchase in the description of this video. Right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down, right, left, and landing flaps. Something else this plane's got. Reverse. I'm running an AR 620 and 10-lish receiver. Enter. And uh, I wish I wish she had stock lights as nice as these are. Cause they can there you can really see them. Try to keep her in close anyways. When you turn this plane though, you definitely want to work a little bit of rudder into your turn. Um, yeah, she's got them nice uh, squared off ends uh, into the wings. That kind of helps with your tip stalls a little bit or dropping a wing, but you do want to work a little bit of rudder into your turn. Yeah, good looking plane. This is and this is one of the reasons why. I mean, if you watch if you watch a manufacturer for any length of time, this is a Durafly brand sold by Hobby King. If they continue to carry a plane, then that should tell you something. If it doesn't do well and they doesn't keep making sales, then they'll discontinue it and you'll never see it again. Or they might say, well, you know what? We got a lot invested in the molds of this plane. So we need to figure, figure out what, where we went wrong and improve it. And I'll tell you right now, um, this version two, I couldn't tell you what was wrong with the first version, if there was anything wrong. They just reintroduced it, reintroduced this plane, and I don't know what the, what the differences are. Oh, other than the wheels are better. Uh, that's right. The original wheels on the very first Tundras, Durafly Tundras, were actually hard foam. I mean, yeah, it had suspension and everything, but they were made of hard foam, and people didn't like that. I wouldn't like it. I don't like hard wheels if I can avoid it. Um, but uh, now they brought them back with very, very soft foam wheels. Now, I don't actually have those on my version, too, because I messed them up. I messed up the axles on them. Um, the one thing they do that they need to improve on, and it's still in this version, too, is they just have your wheels go on that you get and they just slide on and then you hold them in place with little plastic hubs that screw on well as that wheel slaps against that hub guess what happens those threads give and i was flying along and i just lost the wheel it just went flying off to one side and then i couldn't figure out you know then i'm like oh it's some stupid plastic hubs well and I said, well, I don't want them plastic hubs to come off again. So my stupid butt put Loctite on a plastic hub. Well, you don't put Loctite on anything plastic or foam. It's only for metal. Well, and then I went on vacation. <laughs> and while I was on vacation, that Loctite seeped into the hub, seeped into the axle, seeped into everywhere. And those wheels were locked on. They were locked on. They were not coming off. They weren't. They wouldn't even turn. So I actually had to keep working them and working them and working them. I finally got them to turn, but they they were no good. I actually ripped the wheel off the hub itself on both wheels. So I said, "Well, I don't want to have." And this is a fairly new plane. Then I said, "I don't want to have to uh, go with no wheels," you know. <laughs> so. I just got some temp, some uh, Tundra tires from an, uh, from the E-Flight Timber, uh, from extra ones I had. Slapped them on, put in some little uh, locking, uh, self-locking uh, hubs, nuts. You know, they kind of had the plastic in them. And they work fine, and those wheels are not coming off. 
nice little knife by the way other than those wheels that's an all stock setup well uh, and the lights too of course it doesn't come with them lights be nice if it did <laughs> Yeah, she'll pull. Yeah, I got the stock prop on there. And maybe my wind may actually be maybe stopping now. All right. We got 50 seconds. Let's do some takeoff flaps. There we go. <laughs> it's the Tundra Gone Wild. But let me tell you, folks, this it's a great trainer plane. But just remember, because it does have a shorter wing, if you choose to get this plane, don't um, don't you don't want you want you don't want to glide in dead stick. Okay, you want you want to come in with a little bit of speed because she does just like a clip wing cub you got to maintain a little more speed than you would with a, a, a plane with a, a uh, longer wing has a short wing on it so all right yes British lady I know <laughs> all right folks isn't that a good looking plane though I love that red and white and blue. I know it's a British plane and I know they're trying to emulate the Union Jack, but for me, that's an that's very much like a like a uh, red good old old glory painted plane. So all right folks, let's see what kind of juice we got left in the tank. As GB Lennon likes to say. Which uh, definitely watch his channel, folks. Him and John HC. They, they do they both do great reviews now they do a lot of hobby king stuff so if you're looking for a hobby king product of course i want you to watch my channel but watch their channel too they get they'll give you more in depth than i will or at least i think 59 percent. i could have flown for another two minutes at least if not longer okay well let's uh, put our hatch back on there got the battery out of there man but i got a clear coat on here so it's kind of shiny um that's that min wax uh, acrylic min wax that's a good looking plane though got the carbon fiber prop i bought an extra one with it and uh, you have to glue on your vortex generators which that they're just they're great for giving you slow speed stability that's what their their main purpose are um you can add a tow cable in here for other gliders um you can put floats on her which i do have the float she's got uh, air holes here to for the uh, air to flow over the battery uh, here's where your would come out for your i think you could put a drop tank on here drop candy you know it's just it's just a versatile plane it's got really good cooling for the motor just a great plane a really very well designed they definitely have a winner here that's why they carry it for so long because it's a good plane um i i, I recommend it i really recommend it and don't put loctite on those plastic hubs or you'll regret it all right folks thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe god bless y'all merry christmas and jesus is lord and thank you for watching my channel bye-bye